I'm George May and I have been at Radley for 17 years. I've been part of the drama department throughout that time and I've been in D-social, K-social as a live-in sub-tutor and H-social as the tutor. The characters that we've had at Radley, the teaching staff, are possibly the most inspiring I've ever worked with. An elderly spinster. An elderly opera spinster. Yes, thank you. An elderly, <laughs> an elderly opera spinster playing by myself. And we've had some extraordinary, um, large, larger than life characters come through over the years. It's actually tip top as your boys always are. Something more is required. More? Different. I would call it grooming. Did not that have overtones of the monkey house? <laughs> temporary basis. It'll be the last time, I promise. Last time was the last time also. I am thinking of the boys. I do. Oh, no, I, I'm do sorry. Do not I... go near my door. Do not touch her. No, no, I haven't. I wouldn't dare. Stay I'll... away from her. Yeah, yes, of course I am. Now go! And though they've been greatly missed, and I could name them now, but that would be embarrassing for them and for me, um, what I think has made me feel reassured is that those eccentrics still come through the doors. We still seem to attract some wonderful characters to come and teach the boys, and I think that's what makes this place so rich. Is this your car, sir? Hey, hey. Yeah, she most certainly is. Isn't she pretty? Uh, very fast, you know. Do you think I've broken the land speed record up from Devon this morning? Oh. Have you been drinking, <laughs> sir? And I think what I have loved about Radley is the, the all-embracing nature of, of um, well, I suppose those who've got the most out of it, from a teaching point of view, are those who throw themselves into every aspect of Radley life. And I hope that Radley will continue to attract those who will do, no matter how they're um, the level of, of expertise on a sports pitch or in the music department or drama that they will always give a little bit of themselves whether it be um, in the classroom, in the boarding house, um, on the pitches, perhaps directing something. I think it's that overall schoolmastering that um, attracts a particular type of character to come and teach here that I hope we never lose. My best memories are probably in this space here in the theatre, um, off the top of my head. I think opening nights are always exciting and terrifying. You spend months um, working with the boys closely, preparing everything, uh, blocking middle moments, um, and you look forward to seeing those uh, on stage, and you look forward to seeing the audience's reaction. And then for the next hour and a half, as a director, you watch something that bears no resemblance to what you've done over that time. And you see things that boys pick up on the night and run with and improvise, hopefully not the words, but the movements. And it's always a terrifying but exciting moment to see the birth of something that you've, you've put a lot of um, thought and time into, but it takes on a whole life of its own. And probably if I was to boil it down to, to one moment, I think um, there was a play I directed called Black Watch. And right at the beginning, um, two, ca two characters, two actors are playing pool. And then the lights change. And then through the pool table, you see a knife come through the knife, uh, through, the, through the bays. And then these two soldiers come out of the pool table. And I loved watching the, the audience on both sides. It was in traverse. We had audience over here, an audience over there, and just watching their faces as um, at the surprise of these two actors who've been hidden in the pool table throughout the first act coming out. And it's moments like that when, when you surprise people that for me, I get a real buzz out of. I suppose it's those spontaneous moments sitting around the barbecue on a Saturday night uh, everybody's singing along to something, um, normally involving a, a guitar. Sadly, I don't play myself. But when spontaneously 30 or 40 boys 
uh, start singing. And, and actually, the singing in the school is something I hope we never lose. The, the chapel singing, dare I say it, the Red Army at rugby matches, um, in social at ends of terms. Um, the singing, and, and it's so countercultural in many ways, you know, to sing um, it is an emotional thing. And um, I love the fact that, that 750 boys willingly uh, sing every evening of the week. And then you see that their voices are trained up without them realizing it. And then you see that around a barbecue or at the rugby um, where, they, where they just spontaneously burst into hymns, which must confuse the opposition enormously. Or singing Summer of 69 around the barbecue on a Saturday night. Those are wonderful moments and I will treasure those moments. I think a little bit of everything. I'll miss the boys because they make the job and I will miss um, the, the colleagues and friends that I've made over the last 17 years and I hope I'll stay in touch with them um, and I'll be popping back occasionally. I will try not to turn up too often. Um, but the whole professionalism of the school, I mean, it has changed a lot in the last um, uh, 17 years, the way that the, the support staff in particular has grown a lot, supporting what we do at the school to make it um, look as professional as possible and for us to give the boys the best experience possible for their next stage in life. I think I'll miss the fact that generally everything works really well and very smoothly. And that, that it's a bit like the, 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 the swan, isn't it? It looks beautiful on the surface, but there's a lot going on underneath the surface. I'm from Poland. So you're from Poland? Do you know much about this sort of thing? No. Planting? No. Weeding? No. Mowing? No. Strimming? No. Racing? Racing? How, how do you mean racing? Thank you to Max because I think we've done this many times and he's filmed nearly everything that I've produced. So Max, I know you're standing behind the camera there. So uh, thank you to you. Um, you've done an amazing job promoting this school, recording it uh, and creating a lifelong record of everything that's been going on here. So well done to you and your team. It's pronounced H, not H. You can't shoot it just for that. I just did. Anyway, it's my social and I can do what I like. I bet Wood wouldn't have given it a second thought. I think, you know, I arrived here as a very naive 20 year old uh, with, um, I did come with my wife at the time, but I leave with four children. And I think um, they have, this has been their home. This has been a place where they've been brought up and they've been enormously happy and they've got involved in lots of different aspects of school life. Um, they've been on the stage, they've been in Max's films. Um, they have supported me and I couldn't have done the job without them. But I think it also says something about the campus and the site and the common room in general, that we as a family have been made to feel so welcome here. And that's why it's going to be a wrench to leave, but we're looking forward to the new challenge. But it has been, it's been our home for 17 years and we've been incredibly happy here and very privileged to be part of this community.